notification type then we'll against this notification type we'll create another order and then we'll confirm that order our previous maintenance order which we created that maintenance order is yet not confirmed we'll confirm both order preventive maintenance order as well as the normal maintenance order together Okay, so this is a path by using uh, or you can also use the direct key code as IW21 which is for maintenance creation, PM notification creation. So whenever you create any transaction data, first thing is to select its type. So here you can choose a type of notification. So let's say I am putting normal maintenance as a notification type. Let me take any other one because that too. number age wasn't available, right? Now see, this is a notification creation screen. So here, in a description mode, you need you can mention that motor need urgent repair, something like that, or any information. Motor of Packing section heating problem. This is your problem statement. Then you can create a general notification with or without reference to any equipment. Similarly, you can also create a uh, notification with or without functional location. So, what we'll do, we'll create a notification for a function location. What are that functional location? Just let us check in our order. It means on this particular functional location here, I have a, this problem of motor heating. Now, if you, you can keep this notification as it is and you can save it, first thing. Because as an end user, you don't know this much information. You don't know any other detail. Further, if you want to add any details relevant to this breakdown, like how it happened, okay, why this motor is getting heated, what could be the cause, what type of precaution you needed. So that all details can be entered here in description, which is a long text. In case of a maintenance notification, the planner group is generally considered as a parent department or department who is going to issue this notification. Right? This much is enough, but let us consider other areas. This is a required start date. When you want to start it, required date. Like as I told you, in case of breakdown maintenance, it is necessary to record the breakdown duration also, right? So here, at the time of notification creation, let's say this is a date and this is a time. So you can state and put that my breakdown is started on this particular time. And when you close or when a maintenance team will close that notification, they'll again put as a malfunction end time and 
and print the uh, date. Then you can hear this is this he, uh, this details are generally get gets copied through the function location part, right? Or these are some informative. If you want to share the exact location of a machine, then you can use this. See, if you have directly entered the equipment, so in that case, system will automatically paste this, uh, bring that information here. And if you don't know, you can choose manually here so that maintenance team will be, will they'll have uh, some information about where is the uh, uh, that particular equipment location and what exactly happened to that equipment. Now see, as per the, as per like, as we saw in case of a maintenance order, we saw that there are some status of a created CRTD, confirmed CNF and all that. So that is, the, those status are called a system status. So similar funda is also available in maintenance notification. When you create a notification, maintenance notification, initial status will be OSNO. I am just saving this notification. I am again changing in chain mode. <coughs> now you can release it. Put in process. Now who is going to perform this put in process? Right? Like as a user you have created your notification and just leave it. Now, when maintenance department will start work on this notification, then they'll release it by saying put in process. So, when you put this notification process, its status will also change. See, from OSNO, now the status is NOPR. So the status is NOPR which says put in process. So it, we can also in other word or the simple word we can say that maintenance team has started working on it. Right? Now they will put this notification process and then again save it. Now let us say they have completed that task. Right? First thing is this notification, they can close this notification because no further work is to be done and no any spare part is required. So in that case, they can straight away put that flag as a complete. So see, current status is NOPR. When I clicked on complete it, system is asking me what or at what date and what time you have completed it. So that your breakdown duration and your maintenance repair timing can be saved in your system for your further analysis purpose, right? So, this is the one approach, right? So, this notification is completed. It is in a gray mode. Now, I will do one thing. Let me change this notification. Let me put this notification in process again, okay? Now, let us say in any case, this notification you cannot close this notification because you need some spare part from stores. And spare can be withdrawal against the maintenance order only. So, now you need to convert this notification into maintenance order. So, for that purpose, simply click here. Okay. Assign an order type. Like I am using PM0, PM99 order type. Work center. A press center. Right. I simply save this order. Now, again opening this notification. Now, see, in this notification, 
the initial status was osno osno which says notification created then when madras team accepted they'll change the status as a put in process nopr but after this nopr this notification need to convert into order so the way i clicked and i entered my order number now this notification is converted to order and this is the order number right and here we'll have again another status orss ORAS which says that this notification is converted to order. Now onwards, everything will be performed on your maintenance order. Right, so first you release that order, 